I would love to say that the average Aussie male is a romantic at heart. But <laughs> it really hasn't been my experience. So sorry to say that for the Aussie guys out there. But, uh, you know, like they know that they're in love and they're committed to this person and they want to spend the rest of their life with them. But, you know, like so much of their, their thought process is consumed by, oh, I've got to find a ring and, you know, will she love it? And, you, you know, all of these other things. And, and how do I make sure that I don't stuff it up and all that? And the next thing that they have to think about is, okay, well, well, now that I've got his ring, what's next? How am I going to ask her? You know, and, and sometimes the guys like to really over plan it. And they almost think about it more about how they want to uh, give it rather than how she wants to receive it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess what I try and help them as a, as a little bit of a proposal coach is I get them just to kind of understand that, you know, for most ladies, uh, they've been thinking about a pending proposal for some time. And sometimes it's even before they've met the guy. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, oh, girl. And it's really important. And we, we all hope that it happens once and, and we want it to be really magical. But if your partner doesn't like heights, uh, proposing from a hot air balloon isn't a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> as romantic as you might think it is and all of that sort of stuff, you know. And then I kind of coach them through, you know, what to say, how to say it you know, thinking about the journey where they first met and, you know, what all the mushy stuff that, that the girls love to hear. I say, look, you know, it, it, this is your one chance. There's no do-overs when it comes to a beautiful mm. uh, proposal. You, you want to get it right the first time. So